Kia ora for those watching at home. Here we are with another testimonial for the 30-day Te Reo Māori Bootcamp course with one of our committed students through the March course of 2023. This is Bob. Kia ora, Bob. Kia ora, Grant. Kia ora. Um, so we'll jump straight into it, Tay. Um, Bob, before you joined the course, what was your world like um, in regards to te reo Māori, te ao Māori, what, what was sort of, what was life looking like for you? <clears throat> well, I've been here in Australia since uh, 1989 and uh, I've been home, obviously, over the years um, uh, to Tony's, to my family, to different uh, um, events that had been happening. Um, but my uh, my reo hasn't been uh, hasn't been great. Um, the protocols that happen around uh, the marae, I I have a you know a very good understanding of the protocols that are happening around the marae, and um, but my reo hasn't been hasn't been great, um, and. Being here in Australia and the community that I live in and um, and associate with, uh, it's uh, virtually uh, uh, no contact with uh, my uh, people. Um, I get the odd one here and there, but uh, apart from that, yeah, the only time I have contact is when I go home and, uh, yeah, so for me, um, uh, the uh, my uh, this uh, te reo course uh, is been something that I saw and I knew that I needed to do, and uh, hence the reason why I joined up. Awesome, awesome. Some sometimes there's just a there's a calling. There's something that just pushes you in that direction and it sounds like after being in Australia for so long that um, now just happened to be the time. Yep. Well, they say that uh, as um, as you get older and you start uh, uh, moving on and you're getting one foot closer to that, uh, to that resting place, um, you know, there's a lot of things that come back to you that um, is you're looking, you're reaching out for it. You know, it's um, it's you're reaching out to your to your people. You're reaching out to your uh, marae. You're re reaching out to your whanau. You know, you're, you're reaching out, I guess, to your whakapapa. And learning so to do Māori, know, right? going yeah. going on that journey is, uh, is is something that you can use to connect all of those things that you've just mentioned. Yep. 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 Almost becomes the glue between and, all of those elements. Yep. And um, because there are all different elements that are involved in it, um, and we as people tend to get confused as to where to start and where the middle is, where the end is. I think the most important thing is the out of those three is the start. Um, you've got to start from somewhere before you can move on to the next link with it. Um, there's a end goal in mind, but that end goal may not be achievable in the time that we have left here. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't keep moving forward to try to attain that goal. And for me, uh, that goal is, um, is my whakapapa and, uh, and, the, um, and the te reo is the one of the elements that are going to get me there with it. Uh, and saying that, one of the main elements that is going to get me there with it. Mm, mm, 100%, 100%.
Okay, Bob. So when you saw the course, when you first saw the 30 day to the old Maori course, were there any obstacles to joining that, that came up for you? Yep. And probably for me, the biggest ob obstacle for me was, uh, holy hell, 30 days uh, every day and trying to find the time to, um, to fit that in. Um, I'm supposed to be retired, but I've, uh, I've been called back to work uh, for, uh, you know, for various reasons and, um, and uh, getting up at four o'clock in the morning to uh, go to work and, and then uh, come home and finding the time to, um, you know, to do the lessons and I have to say that um, even though I haven't completed all of the lessons, uh, I've, uh, I've really at least clicked on to the videos that you've put out there with the lessons and I've, you know, I've um, really taken note of those and uh, I keep going back, even now, I uh, keep going back to those original boot camp videos. Yeah, so timing was probably the biggest uh, obstacle, uh, and I think that may be for a lot of other people as well. Yes, certainly. You know, the, the, we definitely live busier lives than we did even five years ago, um, and that goes for probably everyone in society. So time has been uh, a big factor for a lot of participants in this course. Actually, it's definitely one thing I've noticed. Yeah. Um, okay, Bob, so yeah. what was the main result for you that you got from the course? Oh, that's a big question, that one, because um, there's lots of little answers that I could give, which would probably lead me back to my, uh, to my, uh, my answer to you with that. And... The biggest thing I got from the course was um, that showed me uh, about uh, what I didn't know uh, and, you know, being somebody of uh, my age group and you're expected to know everything, well, pretty much everything. And, um, but it taught me that I didn't know a lot of, um, a lot of things. But it also taught me a lot about myself, uh, about the journey of, of my life and where I was before as to where I am now and where my future lies with it. Uh, so the bigger picture with that is the whakapapa. So yeah, so that's what that part of it has taught me. Mm, definitely from from what i'm hearing bob it, it, it definitely sounds like you're on a whakapapa journey and 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 joining this course and learning te reo maori is is really an enabler for you to dive deeper into that aspect yep that's exactly what it is cool so bob what specific features of the course did you find the most helpful? You know, we had our accountability groups, we had our daily structure, we had activities. Um, for you, what was sort of the standout feature that uh, I guess worked the best for you? Um, there's there's a couple of things that work really well for me, and I think it's the way that you structured uh, the course, uh, the videos being put up there. And uh, in the lessons, the way that you gave examples of how you know, things, um, you know, how things were uh, said and how you would do it. Um, so, yeah, and all packing, absolute, all the way. Uh, it's great. Most people say opaki. Everyone loves opaki. It's uh, it it 
And on day one, it can be very daunting, but once you go through the course, and I'm, I'm sure you could uh, you could vouch for this, is you, you learn so much through the course that gets picked up in Orpaki, and you get to day 30 watching Orpaki, and you're going, oh, I know that, I know that. Or, you know, I'm just trying to fill in the gaps, whereas at the start, it might have just been a complete whirlwind. Yep, it certainly is, and that's exactly what... Uh what happened to me and um, towards the end of the course, uh, it, I had a greater understanding of what was being said and uh, the kupu that was being used. And yeah, it, um, it's an awesome way of learning as well. Awesome. Awesome. So Bob, uh, would you recommend this course to others? And if so, why? I would, um, and I already have, and um, uh, the reason why I would recommend it is uh, those other points that I pointed out to you before was the structure that you use in your teachings and, um, and the way that we could have contact with you whenever we needed to ask questions and the like. But I think it also brings other people um, together. So you put together accountability course uh, uh, groups uh, together. And um, from my group anyway, you know, I've become um, uh, a great, great mate with uh, one of our other participants. I think you know who I'm talking about, Bradley. Yeah. Yep, yeah. certainly do. And, uh, yep, uh, and uh, we're going to keep in contact and keep moving forward with it. That's awesome to hear, Bob. Um, I, yeah, the, the the accountability groups. I like to try and group people by because we have people from all over the globe joining. I first and foremost like to try and. Uh, make the groups based around time zones. And then if time zones line up, then usually around capital cities and, and you and Brad obviously don't live too far from each other and have been able to connect and, yeah. you know, you could have a friend for life there, um, which is right. awesome, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, Bob. Um, that gets us to the end before we wrap up. Is there any, closing thoughts from you any final thoughts you know for someone that might be watching this uh you know in five years time 10 years time um before we started this call before i started recording you said you know you would be more than welcome to jump on this jump on and do the video because it might help inspire someone that's watching so um any final thoughts from you bob any anything to share yeah for anybody um out there who's thinking about doing the course, I would say just take the ball by the horn and run with it. It's it's um, it's scary to start with, um, and it's uh, difficult to keep up sometimes. But you have to persevere. If you want to get anywhere with it, you have to keep going. You have to go back, you have to make time, um, as I am now, even though the course is finished, you have to make time to uh, go back and revise some of the lessons and do some catch up with that. So, yep, I think that uh, if you're thinking about doing it, go for it, do it, and you'll be happy at the end of the course. Well, thank you for the kind words, Bob. I, I really appreciate it. And um, I, I don't want to sit here and plug my own course, but you know, your experience is an experience that's been shared by many people. And through the refinement of this course over the years, um, it's obviously been able to deliver a lot of fantastic results for, for people such as yourself. So, and, and Bob, you know, you have been so committed over the 30 days. Some people can fall off because um, the workload can be quite intense. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't really realize when coming into it, it's it's less about 
the content that's shared. It's less about the lessons and the homework. It's more about building in daily habits, you know, creating new habits for yourself around learning and using Tadeo Māori. And um, you have been a stellar example of that over the the last 30 days over the course. And yeah, Bob, I think um, I think you've got a, a bright future ahead with your reo and hopefully with your whakapapa. And, and I, I really hope that through this course, you've been able to um, unlock something, something for you in Te Reo Māori that is going to help you in your whakapapa journey. Kia ora, John. Kia, Kia ora. Well, thank you, Bob. Thank you for jumping on the call. Um, that's it for this video, for this testimonial video. Uh, if you're interested in joining the 30-day Te Reo Māori course, just check out the Starting in Te Reo Māori Facebook group for updates. We try and run them quarterly every year. So hopefully I can see you on the next course. Kia ora, Bob. Kia ora, Grant.